Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again. And then, um, and then, as is probably obvious uh, by the uh, album cover here, this is gonna be, uh, actually, I can't even read that. I was about to say a moral win, but no, 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 that ain't, um, I think it's Murgrind, Murgrind, or something like that, uh, the power of yourself. So, it's just, uh, it's more dungeon synth, uh, the, the, of the epic kind. Um, like, the kind you hear on probably, say, Ogre Battle or, like, Final Fantasy, that kind of thing. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. And then, once again, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get rid of a window or two here first. So, I have to kind of, I have to kind of watch this at about the one minute mark because it's got a habit of freezing up. I guess I'll, I guess I'll take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. So. But anyway, um, I'm going to kind of do this in a different order. Normally I talk about uh, what I did in my stream, like kind of in chronological order. Like what I did in my stream and what than what I did after, I'm gonna kind of do this a little different. Um, so I in later in the evening, I did a I tried doing a pinball FX3 session. Um, it's a new weekly matchup, some new tables and stuff. Um, my first tape, so got on my first table and I just totally kicked its ass. Like I beat the I think I got um, I got double. Uh, the high score, like yeah, I did really good on this table. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it was. But on the downside, though, the game servers decided to fuck up, and they wouldn't save my high score. So, like I said, there's a server issue over there. So, so yeah, that I was forced to, I was forced to give up, ruining all that hard work and counting it as a loss. So when that happens, I quit the game immediately. Like, I'm not even going to try to make another attempt. I'm not going to try playing any of the other tables or anything like that. I can't trust the servers to stay stable. So, I don't want to... When a situation like that crops up, I don't want to waste further effort. So, I'll probably try again tomorrow. But, again, if, um, if I get server problems then, then, again, I'm just going to quit the game immediately. And, um, this has happened before, like, um, back when I was actually consistently streaming pinball, uh, specifically pinball FX3, uh, same thing there, get a good score, or beat the current high score, but the game won't save my, the game, the game won't save that score, then I quit the game and go to pinball arcade immediately. Like, I'm not gonna waste any more time, or I should say I'm not gonna waste any more effort, so... So yeah, needless to say, I was a little pissed when that happened, because, because I mean, beating these hard, I mean, beating these high scores aren't easy. You know, unless maybe, if you, if you started up, a, if you started the league right at the beginning, you might have a chance on beating these high scores because not enough players have you know played these tables and so they can get you know getting their high scores and all that. You, you kind of get the idea. So, you're, the moment I started off, I'm basically facing an uphill climb. And again, um, doing exceptionally well on any of these tables is hard to come by. So, so when the, um, when the servers fuck up like this, when I get that good of a score, then, yeah, I, I'm not gonna try to, you know, I'm not gonna try to, I'm not gonna make that, I'm not gonna make that extra attempt, because... Who knows? I probably won't. Uh, I probably won't ever get a score like that again. So, but like I said, um, nothing unique. This has happened before. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to try again tomorrow. So. Okay. So, I just wanted to get. I just wanted to get that off my chest because I'm still kind of pissed about it. Just, just to get it out of the way. So. Okay, so back to the beginning. Um, anyway, I did my usual, um, did my usual idle champ stream. Um, 
and then this time around it was a bit later uh, I think uh late on at like 5 a.m. this morning got up uh, I think I woke up around I can't remember I think it was around 10 30 10 30 a.m. a little too early so I laid back down um, and that was when my subconscious decided to go ahead and just run a damn movie marathon just dreams and nightmares out the wazoo and I actually and unlike most other times I actually remembered one of them um I think I talked about this during my stream too I was uh I was at some kind of like a garden shop you know a bunch of gardening people you know selling flowers and plants and whatnot I'm um, just walking around there all of a sudden I got grabbed by a bunch of uh, a bunch of CIA operatives they're uh, bringing me downstairs to be interrogated but luckily around that time beep beep my alarm went off and I ended up waking up, so. Didn't have to give the CIA any info. Saved by the bell. Ding, ding. So, I mean, that was, but like I said, most of the time, when it comes to dream, when it comes to having these dreams and nightmares, I know I had them, but I couldn't tell you exactly what until, like, maybe way later on in life when Deja Vu kicks in. So, yeah, anyway, I, um, just, just woke up, uh, just basically woke up all kinds of fucked up. Um, my, um, yeah, alarm went off at 2.30. Um, second alarm, 2.45. Just kind of, just kind of laid around and, you know, just tossed around in bed. Eventually got up off my ass and got my stream going. So, but anyway, like I said, for uh, the Idol Champ stream, went pretty good. Um, did my usual, uh, trying to complete quests and stuff. And then, um, I learned, uh, I learned another new feature totally on accident. You can have more than one um uh, more than one party going. Like the thing you can have up to three, but I can only have two right now. So yeah, you can have uh, two parties going at once. So that means I can um uh, I can potentially complete double the quests in one uh in one one session. But on the downside, to switch from one group to another, you're gonna have to probably sit and wait for I'd say probably about 30 seconds for each switch, especially when you're streaming like I am, because doing this is pretty uh, pretty resource intensive. So, so I guess probably the way I do it, um, if uh, if one quest, like like it, it actually ha it actually happened today. Um, one of the quests I had to do require required me to use nothing but characters that you get at the very beginning of the game like right when you start it you get like a a core group of like nine or ten characters yeah i had a i had a dual run with nothing but these guys so you can only imagine what a drag that was took forever in a day but I, but on the downs on the but hang on let me let me try to regather my thoughts here on the upside being able to use two parties comes in handy in a situation like this. So I could just, I could just, you know, go uh, go offline with this group here, and just start up another, my second group, and then just do, do other, uh, do other quests and whatnot. So I'm not, I'm not stuck having to wait around for this one single one. I'm not held hostage. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. Okay. Practically getting hypnotized by that. So, but but anyway, um, and uh, and uh, this time around, I. There, I mean, there were uh, there were some uh, dud videos that just that didn't that just didn't pan out for one reason or another. I did find a couple of them though. Um, one was like uh, Idle Insights. The the podcast actually came out a few days ago on Twitch, but um, Twitch doesn't really play nice with or Twitch videos don't really play nice with my stream, so they're not the best option. But this time around, it came out on YouTube. Which is a lot more stream friendly, so just watch that. Some some black girl I don't know the name of. Um, I think she's 
She's another mover and shaker in the D&D universe. Or in the D&D community, excuse me. So I just watched a bit of that, and then uh, Triple KO, a uh, fighting game podcast. Uh, I think it seems like they do that once a week, Tuesdays. So I watched, watched a bunch of that. So, but otherwise, again, other, other, pfft, I'm having trouble with my words right now. But uh, otherwise, another another pretty good uh, stream session. And um, and something else I need to mention too is uh, I did find one uh one other drawback to starting my stream later and ending it later is I now have less time to like do my blog and uh put my uh put my cast together. So yeah, for the most part. This cast here was kind of thrown together, thrown together fairly hastily. So, because I, I think I had just started making this one right after I had gotten through with my, uh, making my blog post. So yeah, end of the end of the stream around 7 p.m., which, which basically gave me uh three or four or quote unquote only three or four hours to do my blog and then get this cast go, get this cast up and running excuse me and then on one other thing um a, actually make it let me um let me make an adjustment here real quick no relation to pinball it just there we go much better Anyway, um, one other game, it, it had just now dropped. I mean, I had it in my wish list for God knows how long. Uh, it's called Right and Fight. It's a, it's a, it's a 2D fighter, but, uh, this time they used, uh, they used a bunch of writers. Or they're, the, like, you know, Leo Tolstoy, um, John Steinbeck, I think his name is, William Shakespeare. They're all uh, they're all playable characters in here, and um, luckily I didn't buy it. I um, there was a whole bunch of uh, mostly negative reviews about it. Um, I I watched a I watched a stream vid. I watched yeah I watched a stream vid on YouTube about it. Good thing I didn't buy it. Oh my god! It, oh my, they should not. They shouldn't even have uh, brought this out. It's just one big steaming buggy mess. And you know the the wall the walls come up the straight white. Um, sometimes uh, or hell, a lot of times they're they're the moment a match starts, the game crashes. It, it it's all it's almost like it's being played on my computer. You know, but yeah, like the moment a fight starts, it, or best case scenario, it uh. It warps back to the main menu. So, like I said, it was buggy as hell. Good thing I didn't waste the money. Um, maybe later. Maybe later on. Um, if they, if and when they fix all these bugs, I might uh, I might buy it and take it up. But, but yeah, no, no. So all this time I had to wait for this to for this to come out and they still can't get it right. I mean, I mean some some people probably would have complained about this. Or hang on, let me I gotta I gotta find the right words for this. I mean some um a lot of people a lot of people get mad when they um when a product is delayed now if you um if you pre-order the game i'd kind of understand i'd kind of understand the anger i mean you're you're basically you're basically donating that money for a product that's unfinished unplayable but um with me i i'd kind of lean i'd kind despite the fact that if say i pre-ordered it I would rather them delay it and uh, eventually put out a good product than to just put it out quickly just to give us you know, something to play, but you know, only to find that it's like totally buggy and unplayable, as is the case with Right and Fight. But uh, to their credit, 
um, you didn't, you didn't have to pre-order it, or that I know of. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they were taking pre-orders or anything like that. Hang on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rack my brain here. But yeah, I, I think um, you didn't have to pre-order it in order to get it. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So, but if you if you did, yeah, I'd be a little ticked. Or let, let, let me rephrase that. I. For, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip the subject because I'm just sitting here babbling, 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 babbling. But basically, good thing I didn't pay money for this. Good thing I didn't download it because it's like six gigabytes. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty decent file size, considering um, considering the hot mess that this game is. You know, which is too bad too, because I mean, I think it's a pretty, pretty cool concept for a fighting game, with just uh, with just famous writers. H.P. Lovecraft. That was the other one. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink. But anyway, um, moving on. Um, I still have yet to play Gems of War. Uh, it's a new weekly PvP. All right, let me let me rephrase that. It's a new PvP week, and I think I'll last week. I think I played for maybe maybe a half maybe a half hour. Um, I ended up um I ended up bailing like halfway through. I can't remember why. But hopefully this time around I can. Hopefully this time around I can put my nose to the grindstone and uh, actually actually get my tier from uh, or actually go from tier 15 to tier 1. It seems I'm having a lot of problems with the English language right now. It seems like my default language is gibberish right now, so. Um. But yeah, um. And um, I did watch the more, um. Resurrection of Jake the Snake this morning. Um, but I'm at a, but yeah, they're they're bringing they're bringing in Scott Hall, and I'm I'm at a part in the movie. He's actually recovered. I said I said this yesterday, but I thought uh I thought Jake was gonna have a relapse because I think he did it one. But here I'll I'll try to explain exactly what I was talking about. There was a there was a scene in this movie. I don't remember exactly where it was, but um, for a while, Jake had to take a drug called Anabuse. It's a drug that, after you take it, and um, if you drink alcohol, you'll become really super sick. I think possibly to the point of vomiting, I think. But yeah, um, Diamond Dallas Page actually stood right, stood right next to Jake and watched him to make sure that he took this pill. Well... Jake being the sneaky bastard that he is, he he actually managed to palm the pill. Like a kind of a slate of hand trick. He he did it when um DDP wasn't looking, put the pill on his palm, pretended to pretended to pop it, pretended to swallow it, and then he just took a drink of water. And I think um DDP believed him and he probably said something, Good, you're well on your way to recovery, my friend, or something like that. And and then um I guess um uh, I think Jake um Went outside, went outside the house or whatever, threw away the pill and went out drinking. But again, I don't, I don't remember exactly where the scene occurred. I didn't recall me seeing it when watching the movie, so I had a feeling that uh, it's gonna happen after Scott Hall gets brought in. Like I said, you know, like I said yesterday, I mean, yeah, you know, Scott needs help too. I mean, he's kind of balls deep in drugs and alcohol, but at the same time too. If you're bringing in Scott Hall, you're also bringing in all of his bad habits and issues as well, which might actually rub off on Jake, you know, causing a relapse. And like I said yesterday, I think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen again at some point later on in this movie. But again, but so far it hasn't happened. Like, their DDP is helping Scott. Um, you know, 
trying to get his form back, you know, trying to rehab his injuries and all, and all that. Not only hell, um, I guess uh, Scott Hall has major hip problems, and they're um, they were, um, they would have him uh, bending down and trying to stand up and stuff, and you you can literally hear the hip pop just, you know, Scott would start bending down on one knee and then, then he would start bending up on one knee and. I mean, just down, up, but yeah, the cameraman is like at the uh, at one corner of the room, and his mic is picking it up. That's how loud it is. So yeah, but but anyway, um, so far, it seems the two are getting along great. They're, I mean, I think, I mean, I'm, again, I'm at a point where Jake hasn't relapsed. Like he's still, he's still uh two months sober um I I don't think they said how long Scott had, had remained sober but when I was watching this he was I mean he was he was off the drugs and alcohol and stuff he was recovering so but it it remains to be seen like I said I'm gonna keep on watching this movie though And then um, going back to write and fight, um, like I said, my my brain was pretty much scrambled when trying to explain what was going on. Um, but it's the game is the short answer unplayable. So yeah, they they put out a game that was unplayable. Good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't spend or good thing I didn't buy this game. All I did was put it on my wish list. But once again, later on, once this, um, if and when this game, when all of its bugs are removed, and it actually is playable, um, I'd like to play it, and possibly even stream it as well. But like, but as I've said before in all my other videos, I've got problems with my hands right now. So I can't, I can't really game like I used to. So having the, not sure how well you can hear this, but so having the, you know, so sitting here doing my controller Olympics that I'm pretty sure I'd be doing on right and fight, like I do with pinball and other fighting games, um, I can only do that for maybe about 15 minutes, and then um, one or both of my hands start hurting. So, but what, but what, but once again, you know, I like I'd like to play this game when it comes out. And possibly even stream it, even if only for a short time. Because so, once again, I think this is a really cool concept for a fighting game. Because I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of tired of seeing seeing most of the fighting game characters. It's always some, you know, you got your good guy trying to save the world, and you got your bad guy trying to destroy it. That kind of thing. It just they're trying to shoehorn hype fantasy into a fighting game and it doesn't really work. I mean, right and fight is just basically just a fun project. More of a what if than anything. So. Um, but for right now, that's going to do it. I, um, one thing that I do want to talk about, you know, for those that don't know, this is once in a while I'll do this on my cast videos. This is gonna be my behind the scenes portion. So I'm gonna give up a, a little bit of a spoiler on how I make these, or at least one aspect of how I make them. Usually when I learn something new, I'll do this. And um and it's gonna be a moment or two. And one of the things that I learned. Now, I knew back in the I knew some time ago. I learned how to make uh, how to make transparent images, you know, like down, like grabbing them off of Google Images and that that kind of thing. So I knew how to how to make transparent ones. What I didn't, or what I just now knew, is you can do the same thing with animated gifs too. I didn't know that. Yeah, I never knew that. So. This is good to know right here, so this is going to kind of up the quality of my videos a little bit. 
And it's also gonna give me one less one less reason why uh why I use uh Windows Movie Maker, because you can't you can't do this kind of thing on there. The only real overlay you can put on a video is text. That's it. You couldn't do this. I mean hell, you can't even you can't even do it with basic images like I can do on OBS. So and yes, I have tried looking for other uh, video editing software, but it's it, it's not very user friendly. Even the ones that say they are, they aren't. It's still like me. Excuse me. It's still like me trying to trying to figure out the instrument panel on a 747 jumbo jet or something. It is uh, totally dumbfounded. Whereas the one upside that a uh, Windows Movie Maker has is it didn't take me that long to figure out. It's a lot more user-friendly. It's also a lot more simplistic, but you kind of get the idea. You know, I didn't have to spend a whole lot of time learning learning the software and figuring out how it works. So. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. And yeah, that little little yucky red line but sorry to sound like a broken record but once again the reason the reason for the setup that you're seeing is I had to set it up to where I don't have to alt tab anything um, once again for those that I haven't that haven't checked out my other cast videos my computer is bad enough to where just alt tabbing runs the risk of my computer crashing it, it's basically a forced reboot it reboots itself. So I kind of had a, I kind of had to do some tweaking, just to, just to, you know, just to make it so that I only need to click the windows in order to open them. So I had to set up YouTube like that because I prefer full screen. But in doing that, that forces me to alt in order to switch to another window. I got to alt tab and risk the computer crashing. So, but. Anyway, um, once again, um, just gonna go ahead and call it good here, and uh, and I am off tomorrow. Normally I have to work, but I I requested the day off and actually got it. So once again, uh, tomorrow, um, I should be able to do another cast, and then um, and then Thursday and Friday will be my work week. So, but but hey, um, just. <clears throat> Once again, bobbling my words, um, but thanks for uh, dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I'll, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.